All of us in this room today are 21st century citizens. Yet government still works the same way it did 200 years ago. I'm not so much going to inspire you as um, hold your feet to the fire a little bit. We had this, all these laws, all these systems that were thought in the 18th century, that were implemented in the 19th century, that is being disrupted completely by the internet. Very few things in society are stable. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to design responses to situations that are broadly fast-changing and variable. We are reinventing democracy for the 21st century. As information switches from being this top-down, curated, authoritative source to bottom-up, ubiquitous and highly dynamic. In order for us to get the future that we want, people in general need to get involved in shaping the conversation about how we use our data. Things are emergent, so we're constantly seeing new things emerge that we cannot predict. As a result of that emergence, we tend to generate massive amounts of information about the societies that we're a part of. But what happens when we get more and more of our information from the lists that people generate and the data they keep about themselves? what falls off the table. We need to make politics more intelligent. The people that are profoundly impacted, that are really impacted by the situation, have to be part of designing a response. We are all talking and we are all realizing that we are all peers. The good news is that we have a different response. The different response is essentially experimentation. Because that's the space where innovation really lives. And because of the necessity of more parts of the population to engage and become part of a larger conversation that is really about the issues that matters to each one of us. It's basically trial and error. You've got to try something out, you've got to see what works, and then you've got to ramp up your investment based on the evidence that you're getting back. So not necessarily what you think works, but the evidence you get back. This is an area where people who work in the knowledge sector have a lot of skill and a lot of ability to put together that kind of sharing of information in informal ways. It's no longer an issue about the message that has to come from the top down, but rather now it's a conversation. How can you help shape the public conversation about data? Listening is as important as talking. It's not just that there's information that's readily available, more information than we used to have. It's that information and knowledge has become radically social. You get to have your own voice, you get to have your own opinion, but you will have to deal always with the reactions of everyone else. There's lots and lots of evidence out there if you're trying to make a rational case for these sort of things working. So look for the evidence, I would say, and make the case. Thank you.